Hi, we're Shannon and Kyle, and this is our van fit. Finn's a 1998 Toyota Hiace commuter that we bought in May 2020 and converted over five months. He's a 2.8 litre diesel engine with manual transmission and we bought him with 98,000 Ks on it. So we'll show you guys around and we'll just start in the kitchen here. We've just got our tap and our sink and we just cut out this board here which covers it up when we're not using it. We also cut out a little plug on this side here um, which houses a lot of our dry food. So we've got like all that canned food and stuff in there. Here we just have some jars. We've just got coffee, tea and some dried oranges for our gin cocktails. We've just got our light here that we usually use for doing dishes and cooking and then behind here is just our original aircon and we've just covered it up to make it look a bit nicer. Kyle just made this little spice rack here which is nice and accessible when we're cooking and then this little cupboard under here is where we keep our grey water and our beans. In the top drawer here we've got our cutlery, then we've got all of our cups, bowls, plates, and in the bottom here is where we have just a lot more food storage and all of our pots and pans. Usually just cooking on our little gas mate camper cooker here. We've got it hooked up to the gas which is sealed and vented to outside. We can take it out if we want to cook outside as well. And then we've just got this drawer here which has all of our tea, our little mocha pot and some granola and stuff like that. Got them on little latches just to make sure they stay in when we're driving. And then we've got the Ingle chest fridge freezer on some slides, so it's nice and accessible when we need it, but we've got a deadlock to keep it in place while we're driving. So in this storage under the end of the bed is where we keep our camp toilet. They're great for like stealthing and stuff, so we've just got ours stored under there. So on the roof we've used PVC wood look panelling. Um, we've also just got a couple of downlights and our vent fan. The downlights we just operate from these two switches here. And the vent fan we can either operate directly from the vent fan or we've got a remote down the back of the bus. Our bed is a double mattress which we picked up at Clark Rubber. And to add a bit of extra length we actually also have this little blue piece at the end which makes our bed approximately 2 metres long. So as mentioned, the mattress is in two pieces and the reason behind that is this area here actually turns into a little table which we like to use on rainy days. So all we have to do is take this little bit of mattress, we either throw it on the bed or in the front and then there's just a little pin we need to pull out. This pops up in And that's our little table. Over in this corner we've got a couple of shelves which we have some decorations on. We also have this little pocket here which we like to keep our books and our charging cables. We also have our 240 volt outlet and also some 12 volt outlets. And this is our iTech World remote switch which we use to turn the inverter on and off. To get access to our water tanks and our second battery we just have to lift up the bed and we've got this false floor here which we can just remove and then we have access to most of our stuff. Under the bed we've got our two 40 litre water tanks. We also have our second battery which is a 125 amp AGM battery. We've got our Red Arc BCDC 1225D battery charger. We've also got a little water pump which pumps water to the sink. We have our Blue Sea fuse box and our iTech World inverter.
here next to the bed we've got our wardrobe. So we've just got a little blind that covers it all up. And then we've just got all of our clothes in packing cubes and boxes. So on this side we've just got our little window cover here. So it's got a nice fly screen in it. Means we can keep that window open while we've got the fan on and let it ice breeze through. So down the back of the bus we've got the Titan drawer systems which we picked up at King's. So we've just got two big drawers. In this one we store mainly camping gear. And then in this one we've mainly got some shoes and some sporting gear. And then we've got some tools and bits and bobs to make sure things running good. In this area, kind of through here, is where we keep our chairs and our table. We also have a bit of extra storage which we keep some buckets and that goes all the way through to where those water tanks were before. Down in this corner is where we keep our 12 volt compressor. This is actually also where we fill up our water tanks from. So this point here is the fill line. So we use a inline filter. Put that in there like that. Attach our water hose there and that's how we fill up the water. This here is our breather line to make sure that when we're putting water in there's actually air being able to escape. Uh, on the back door we've just got this wood panelling. We've also got these ropes which we use as a clothesline. So it's super handy just for being able to quickly throw some clothes on the line when we're pulled up. Right, so on top of the roof we've got our custom made roof racks which we use to strap our surfboards to. We've also got our King's awning and our solar shower. The solar shower holds approximately 30 litres which is enough for two showers each for us. So up there is the fill point, here's where the water comes out and this is where we put the pressure in. So we can just flick our compressor on, add a bit of pressure and then watch the water come out. watching guys we're definitely not experts or anything but I think we did pretty well um, if you have any questions just hit us up on Instagram Cheers. Cheers.